Savage Finance. Because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. Welcome to another edition of Savage Finance. We're going to talk about developing the money mindset, which is pivotal to your success. Right now, the world is a little crazy. There's many things that's going on and many people were unprepared. And we're going to talk about why people were unprepared. And we're going to talk about the American credit indoctrination syndrome, which is really bad. And it doesn't prepare people for times like this. This is Glendon Cameron, your host of Savage Finance, Serial Entrepreneur, your hustling godfather. And what I want you to do is to go to the front of the channel and begin to watch videos from the very first video up to now. Now, why would you do this? This is how you're gonna get your financial education. I'm gonna talk about saving money. I'm gonna talk about investing money. I'm gonna talk about making money. I'm gonna talk about how to handle your money. And this right now is one of the precursors what you should do so you can have money in your life with the money mindset. And the first action, the first thing in the money mindset is having an ideal. One of the things that you do when you have the money mindset is you creatively think of ways to make money. And this is more than a preoccupation. It's a lifestyle. You're always thinking of ways to make money. You could literally have $10 million and you will still be thinking of ways to make money because it's a lifestyle. You've made making money a habit. When, you, money become, when, you, when making money becomes a habit, it is so much easier to pull off than when you're in a situation where you only get money when you need it. Being, Being broke, broke is a is bad, bad habit. Look at your friends who are consistently broke. Look at your friends who get paid and then they need to borrow $20, $30 for gas, whatever. And they, they, this, they have this habit of being broke. So this is one of the differences between people who have money and people who don't have money. Making money has become a habitual habit. You just do it in your sleep. You wake up, you come up with ideas. You just like, hey, I'm gonna create an e-commerce store and I'm gonna sell this product. And you just, it just becomes such a fundamental part of your being that you come up with these ideas to make money. Another thing, a part of the money mindset is action. Being an active person. The best people who make money, and I'm gonna say something, and I'm not endorsing criminal activity, but the best criminals are active. They put in the work. They, 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 they have a system. They don't just sit back and have all these illicit proceeds come into their wallets. They're putting in work. So another thing that you need to do is create a situation in your life where money comes to you. First thing you need to do is have some physical cash in your wallet. I recommend 500 to 1500 bucks. Have that in your wallet at all times. I literally, I've had $650 in my wallet for months. And it's just there as an extra signal to more money. You also wanna have money in your checking account. Preferably, if you've bought my course, money management course, you're gonna have more than one checking account. You're gonna have several checking accounts and each checking account is going to have money in that account. And another thing you want to do to draw money to you is to have money on multiple credit cards where you have absolutely no balances. Uh, I have like seven credit cards and I don't have a balance on my chase card, which is one I use most actively. I do have a balance on that, but I'm gonna pay that off tomorrow. Cause I use my chase credit card, like a debit card. I buy stuff, then I pay it off. I don't wait till the end of the month to make a payment. Constantly having money, physically on you, money in your checking account, money on your credit cards, puts you in the situation where more money is drawn to you because there's the energy of money. And this is where many people get it messed up because they have bad financial habits and this is why they don't have money. Another part of the money mindset is service. For all my, For crypto, all my crypto dudes, dudes who watch, who watch this watch channel who wants to come at me because I don't believe in what you believe in. Um, um, going, going forward, I'm just going to block you and delete your comments and we're not even going to entertain, entertain those conversations, conversations because, because what, I'm what I'm doing, doing here, here is, teaching is teaching people how to make, how to make money, money from scratch, from scratch how to manage money, and you guys are into esoteric financial scams. And we're not going to do that. But you got to be about service. And this is one of the reasons I bring up the crypto people. 
when you're in the cryptocurrency, you're in the Forex, you're in the day trading, you're not being of service to your fellow man. And that's why it's so hard to make money doing those things. But literally, you can do this today. You can figure up something that your neighbors need and create a service and literally start making money today or tomorrow. Just that fast. You can do that. And what I want people to understand and I want people to acknowledge and know that service is the starting point to the money mindset. Because remember how I said making money becomes a habit. If you make service a habit, money will be a byproduct of your service. And if you're broke and you don't have any money, I want you to look at your service. I guarantee you, your service is lacking. And another part of the money mindset is execution. You've got to come up with the ideal. You got to have action. Then you have to execute. Uh, I will give you an ideal uh, how I executed on my transition into the storage auction business. I was selling new office furniture and then I came across this company that said, if you would sell our used office furniture, we would buy new office furniture from you. I took it to the owner of the company and he's like, we don't do that. Let that go. And I didn't let it go. I went ahead and formed my own LLC, got into a signed contract with these people and began to sell their used office furniture. And I'm here to tell you, the profit margins of selling used stuff was staggering. I went ahead and quit my job at the company. Then I started my own new furniture business and I did like over a million dollars in sales, but because I didn't know what I was doing, I made so many mistakes, I only realized a $35,000 profit, which is not really good when you have sales like that. Then after that year, I was sitting down contemplating, can I do, can I do to do make money? money? You know, when, you know, I, was when I was selling that used office, office furniture, furniture, I made a, I made gang, a gang of money. Of money. Ah, and the light bulb went off. Find used products to sell. So I went to the newspaper and I started researching, and this is how I ended up in the storage auction business. And I'm here to tell you, the resale value of used stuff is sick. Literally, you could buy a storage unit for 10, 20, $30, turn around, sell everything in that storage unit, make 500 to 1500 bucks. This is something that I repeatedly did. And as my service became greater, I bought more units because I sold more stuff because there's a linear path. The more you sell, the more you can buy. And this is something that's a lot of people who start businesses, uh, personal brands don't understand. You're trying to make money off of your non-existent clout. If you would sit down and create a product or service, you would make money so much faster. But right now we're in a situation where people are trying to become the product and everyone is heading toward those gates and running really quick and fast. But there's only going to be so many people who are going to be able to make money off of their name. Kim Kardashian. There's only going to be a handful of people who can make big money off their name. Whereas you would be better off starting a service business, creating a product or something and serving your fellow man. Another part of the money mindset is results. When you get results, so many things happen. Your self-esteem goes through the roof. Your whole mindset, your whole personality changes because when I had my, about my third year of the store auction business, I figured out a lot of stuff and we were doing really, really well. And my, personally, as a person, I changed. Um, my mindset changed, my attitude changed. There was many, many things within me that changed. And I became such a different person. I opened, it opened my eyes to the potential I had as a person because the money mindset is going to really push on your potential. What can you create? What can you do? What can you build? It's gonna change it because let's talk about the broke habit. And this is a problem with many Americans that who live in the state of being perpetually broke or suffering or scratching for money or always need money or ha living a life of bad outcomes. I knew this one girl who moved into this crummy apartment and her hot water heater didn't work and she was paying rent and she didn't have hot water. This is what happens to you when you're in that perpetual broke lack state that you're, you're not going to live in the best places. You're not going to have the best accoutrements. It's just not going to happen. I used to be like that. I used to be like you I understand being broke and being broke is a mindset. Being broke is a habit habits. There's your conscious mind and there's your subconscious mind. 
and your habits reside in your subconscious mind. So once you begin to change your habits, you're going to change your subconscious mind. You're going to change your results. You're going to change your outcomes and walk sitting around and being broke all the time is no way to live life. And from what I've seen, going back to the Bitcoin guys, the crypto guys, uh, the you know, day trading, the Forex people, these are people who are trying to make a lot of money for not giving the world any service. And there are some people who are really successful with crypto, Forex and day trading. It's a small percentage of the people who get into it because most people who get into it instantly start losing money. And part of this is going back to the money mindset. The people who are really good day traders or people who are really good forex traders, they put in years and years of work and they lose money and they stick with it. And this is the money mindset because if you're destined to make money, you're not going to give up once you hit a roadblock. I will tell you a story that happened with me and eBay. I think it was the second year of the storage auction business. We were on and off and running and I made a critical mistake. 68 to 75% of our profits came from eBay, which was fine as long as everything was good. And I woke up one morning and it wasn't good. Essentially, I had bought a unit a week or two before that had all these antique dolls and they were selling like hotcakes. We were doing like $20,000 a week. And then eBay, because our sales volume went way up, they shut our account down and froze our PayPal account with $31,000 in it. It was a pucker moment. What I had to do was figure out a way to get more money in because we had obligations. I had storage units I had to go pick up. I had staff to pay. I had operation expenses. It was a moment, but I had the money mindset. So I instantly went to Craigslist and started listing like a hundred ads a day and selling whatever I could. I was running tests. I was selling stuff, but the money mindset is what got me out of that because I didn't sit down and panic and lose my mind. I took action. I actually set myself up to be successful because of the money mindset. And one of the things you need to understand about the money mindset, it's about action. It's about ideals. It's about service. It's about execution. And once the results come in, the results will motivate you to do more. The results will keep you going because developing the money mindset is something that many people need to do. Like I said, I was just like you. I was an average American. I had a regular job, I had a part-time job. I had a PRN job. To me, the only way to make money was through a job. I did not know how to generate money through my organically through creating products and services. I didn't understand that world until I fell into a deep financial abyss. I wrecked my car. I was literally homeless and I ended up moving into a boarding house. If you don't understand what a boarding house is, it's a place where people who don't know each other share a house. It's like roommates. And I was living that life because I didn't understand. And I started to educate myself and I started to understand how the world worked and I understood risk and reward and I understood and I developed the skills over about two and a half years on how to make money. And that was a life changing thing because when you learn how to make money, when you learn how to push things, when you learn how to set things up, going to change every ounce of your life. You know, I've mentioned this in a few videos, but if you're new here, you may have not heard this. Um, in 2019, I had a heart attack and a stroke and I did not work for five months because I had the money mindset long before that event happened. Other than healing up and going through some physical struggles, my financial life was fine. I did not lose my cars. I did not lose my house. Not one bill went unpaid because I practice what I preach. And this is why I'm not into these esoteric scams because you need a firm financial foundation. Many people are trying to cheat the system. It's just not going to work for most people. So what I'm going to give you is the financial basics. I'm going to give you the things that I have done that I know work. This isn't a channel based upon theory. Like, well, if you bought a hundred dollars in stock and then you did this because a lot of the stuff is theoretical. They don't give you practical, solid advice. And that's where Savage Finance is very different because I'm going to give you stuff that's going to work. I'm going to give you stuff that's going to reduce the stress in your life. So what I want you to do is to subscribe, hit the bell notification, and more importantly, Go watch these older videos because one of the things that you're going to learn is how to manage money, 
You're going to learn how to get and manage your credit. You're going to learn how to invest in number four, which is the biggie. You're going to learn how to make money because one of the things that so many people don't know how to do is make money. So with all that, this is Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather and giving you personal finance your mom and dad never had.